Hi guys, good day. It's Shane Head coming to you from Henderson, Texas for Pop RVs. We've got a very reasonably priced bunkhouse model fifth wheel from Heartland. This is the Gateway 3650 DRH. We will update all of the specs as far as the capacities, total length and size in the actual ad itself. But guys, as you can see, it's a large unit, multiple slide outs. Uh, priced right, uh, really just from what I can see needs a good good hard cleaning. It's been outside here where it's been sitting and used. Uh, the people that currently haven't used it uh, for a short time for some full time living. Uh, so it could use a good wash job. Other than that, uh, everything looks, you know, for a 2014 model looks pretty, pretty good. So again, it's a 2014 Gateway by Heartland, fifth wheel bunkhouse model. Bunkhouse in the rear, uh, bath and a half model as well. You've got a half bath out in the bunk. A uh, lot of nice features for not a lot of money. Uh, a couple of things we'll kind of note to you as far as wear and tear. Being a 14 model, it's not brand new. It's got a few little scuffs and scrapes. A small one right here, nothing of any significance. Uh, the plastic shield over the fifth wheel has got a couple of cracks in it. Uh, but again, it's really cosmetic. Uh, it does have the automatic uh, power leveling jacks. Lots of pass-through storage. Go ahead and show you some of that. It goes all the way to the other side. Of course, they have some things in it, but a really wide open cavernous storage. 110 exterior outlets swing under entry assist steps. This is a Four Seasons model, so it is a sealed underbelly. Also has the extra uh, insulation in the in the ceiling and the floor, as well as the uh, walls itself. Tires look pretty good from what I can tell. I'll update the date codes on the tires in the ad. Um, they could be original, but they do look okay. There's that entry to the half bath in the bunkhouse area. And guys, again, as you notice, it's got a little rainwater runoff, a little bit of oxidation, could use a good washing, probably a good wax and polish would do it wonders. It does have a power retractable awning. Uh, the roof, uh, I can see a few pieces of uh, fiberglass kind of flicking up, so it's probably time to seal the roof. Again, normal maintenance. Nothing I saw inside indicated that it's leaking, and I don't believe that it is. It does have a full outdoor kitchen, which comes with your refrigerator, swing out TV, sink, cooktop, uh, cabinet storage, really good for tailgating, or if you're boondocking, you got a really great setup here for that. Something else I want to show you is you have a mount for your grill back here on the rear uh, steel bumper. Uh, it does have a receiver hitch on it as well. The ladder going up to the top, one rung is broke on the side rail, so that one piece may need to be replaced. Without getting up there, it may fit back in there, but I would, I would expect that you have to replace that rail. So again, guys, it's a 2014, so it's not brand new, but at a price point that makes it a really great entry level, large fifth wheel. If you need a lot of space, if you need a lot of sleeping capabilities, well, this unit really, really has that. Get around here to the other side. And that's a slide out up front for your master bedroom. Then you've got your slide out for your dinette living room area, and then your bunkhouse slide there at the rear. This is the business side of the camper, of course, and you've got all of your sewage connections, as well as access to your propane tanks. Your other side of your pass-through storage, of course, has your access to your city water connections. We're gonna go ahead and transition and move towards the inside of the RV. As usual, if you have questions about this camper or anything else you see listed at Pop RVs, call the number below on your screen. You can reach out to me directly, Shane Head. I'm the local rep at 903-293-3851. I'll be glad to answer any questions you have. If you'd like to set up a showing or make a preliminary offer, I can help you with all that. So as you enter into the main entrance here, one of the first things you're gonna notice are the colors. They did paint the inside of this. 
So you have kind of an olive green with white trim, olive green trim with the white walls inside. They painted all the cabinets, all the trim, all the overhead. And again, there are some things in here that obviously will be coming out. They've got some things stored in here. Uh, I suspect that this table can come out. You do have your, your sleeper uh, sofa here. Now it has that synthetic material. And as you can see, they've got a slip cover on it because it is peeling back. Uh, they have removed part of the dinette sleeper. One bench is still there. They're using the rest for storage. Again, the seat covers uh, are time to be covered or replaced. Looking back across, you've got a really good sized kitchen. You actually have Cory and countertops. You've got a residential size stainless steel sink with a brushed nickel kitchen faucet. I've got a nice flat screen overhead TV there. Three burner cooktop, oven, microwave, residential style Amana refrigerator, freezer over and under model. We'll go ahead and hit your bunkhouse area. You do have a privacy door going into the bunk room. Of course, you've got your overhead bunk, your convertible uh, love seat sleeper, your other bunk with all of your built-ins for cabinets. You've got a built-in with a flat screen TV. Again, you have slide out here and opposing. So these are both slide outs in the bunk area. Again, they've painted in here, painted the white. So you see that they got some on the doors. So could use a little bit of TLC. But in, in structurally considering, it's uh, in really good shape. Here's your half bath, which you have a full size head, uh, bathroom sink, overhead medicine cabinet. And again, you've got that exterior entry door. Really great when you're at the cap side. So it really is a good floor plan for, for full-time living. As we make our way up the stairwell to the master bedroom and master bath, you of course have your as you enter into the coach, your control center that's got all your master light switches, your awning controls, your slide out controls, your tank monitors, etc. Your stairwell, guys, has storage in it. It looks like the stairs themselves need to be reseated. They've got a little bit of angle to them. So that may be a small repair that needs to happen. Go ahead and hit the master bathroom. Good sized bathroom, got a corner mounted head. A full-size residential shower with a tub, recessed skylight, your vent fan, nice looking countertop here in the bathroom, lots of built-in storage as well. This is a two AC unit, so it is a fully ducted system. You've got heating and air here in this room, the master, as well as in the main living area. King size bed. This is, an, again, another slide out. Looking across the way, you've got your double sliding door closet. We'll open that in a second. Your built-in dresser. You've got your um, uh, cable inlets. So if you want to mount a TV on this wall right here, you can easily do that. And again, makes uh, goes without saying that if it's gonna be considered for full-time living, you wanna have those washer-dryer connections, which you have right here. So you can certainly put a a combo washer and dryer unit in here, or you could possibly put a stack unit in here by removing that top shelf. The closet's pretty roomy. They have clothes in it still, so you can kind of get some, this is one half of the closet. And if you look back in there, it goes all the way across. You've got a nice, large, deep overhead storage shelf. On both sides of the bed, you've got nice little pocket organizers or shelf units. They kind of facilitate themselves as nightstands for his and her. Again, they have painted in here. They've gone with a blue and white contrast in here. You do have a privacy entry door, so we'll kind of head back down towards the main living area and let you look from above. So there it is, guys. A 2014 Gateway by Heartland. Fifth wheel bunkhouse model available here at pop rvs if you have questions again call the number on your screen or reach out to me shane head directly at 903-293-3851 happy to set up a showing happy to bring an offer to the seller if you need help with financing let me know we can we can direct you to some good rv lenders as well so again thanks for watching take care